Hey YouTube people, today we have a review on Sony Walkman ZX2 MP3 player. For my Russian subscribers, для русских подписчиков вы можете посмотреть русскую версию. Вот она, прям можете нажать сюда, либо можете нажать на ссылку в описании, чтобы зайти с телефона или планшета. Here we go! The Walkman ZX2 is a follow-up to Sony's first high-end Walkman, last year's ZX1. At 8.3 ounces, the black metal body is weighty in the hand and feels really sturdy, while the textured levered back adds much needed grip. Its profile longer and thicker than a smartphone, and that extra weight helps keep it from slipping. But it's a simple awkward, especially if you're trying to put it in the pocket. The 3.5 audio jack is ringed in bright gold, which is Sony making sure you know you're holding something premium. Not everyone's going to love the ZX2 looks, but if you are into the whole industrial look, stereo aesthetic, and yes, that's a thing. The interface is another story entirely. The ZX2 runs a heavily modified version of Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, which feels outdated on the new device. Using an existing operating system is a great idea, since Sony can be confident it's going to work and can focus its energy on a featuring that matter. But using one from late 2012 seems underwhelming. You can download apps from the Google Play Store, meaning the ZX2 will run the streaming services you're already using to get your music. It can even be used like a tiny tablet in a pinch. Things such as dedicated equalized controls and tones of different ways to sort your music are baked into the new experience and add to the series audiophile cred. But the overall experience was laggy and left the frustrated on multiple occasions. Whatever it was waiting for album art to fill the screen or simple things like scrolling, the ZX2 often felt half a second behind. I do appreciate the addition of a microSD slot, letting you expand on the 128GB hard drive, which could fill up quite quickly with bigger hi-fi music files. A single album can be more than a gigabyte in the massive DSD format, and you could be looking at as a few as 1500 songs at that quality level. When I first picked up the ZX2, I was excited about the physical button sunk into the right side, not having to dig into menus or turns or screens or to play pause or skip track sounded appealing. In practice, I found it hard to get used to them after having used touchscreen controls for so long. Some people still might love them, but I couldn't take leave them. The ZX2 sounds incredible. My testing process was pretty straightforward. I plugged it into a pair of Sony MDR1 headphones, kicked back and hit play. My demo Walkman came loaded with a pretty diverse selection of tunes, from 9 inch nails to Serge Gainsbourg to the Smiths, and it made my studio apartment feel like a concert hall. I could be folks poetic and start describing the notes dancing around the huge soundstage, the bottomless speed of the music negative space, and the shimmering of the quietest part you'd never hear on the compressed files. It is also important to remember that audio quality starts with the file you are playing. You can have thousands of dollars in gear, but if your files are poor quality, you can only do so much. To get the most out of the ZX2, you are probably going to need to rebuild your audio library to some extent. Those iTunes purchases, MP3s and free streams will play just fine, but you are not going to notice nearly as big difference as when you are playing AAC and DSD. So, for this part of the review, we're gonna be using Sony Xperia Z3 and the ZX2. So, we're gonna try and see if there's any sound difference between those two. For this, we're gonna be using Sony SRS X9 wireless Bluetooth speakers with high resolution audio. And we're gonna see what's, which one of them sounds the best. So, yeah, I'm gonna be playing copyright free music so don't be saying in comments why I'm listening to such a trash or something so there you go
I love the idea of a high-end gadget that does only one thing and it does it extremely well. But while ZX2 does provide outstanding audio quality, the limited practical benefits, burden of carrying another heavy device and steep price tag all conspire against it. So as a final decision I'm giving this product 7.8 out of 10. You ask me why? Well, the really bad things about it is certainly the walking speed, the processor built in it, and also at some points the screen, which is not really high resolution. But I love this device, it makes the sound quality amazing, and yeah, I love this sound quality. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, you can share this video, you can subscribe to this channel, I'll also leave the comment be below what you think about this device. At the same time, you can... Uh, Check out my other reviews and also you can wait for my new review on Sony MDR Z7 headphones. Yeah, it's gonna be soon, maybe, if you leave me a good comment below, you know. <laughs> well, thank you guys, have a good day and enjoy your life. Woo!